This is home butchery pig. Day one. Gotta get her morning started with the coffee first. It's pig butchering day. Just headed over to my brother's house to uh, pick up the tractor and it is gonna be a cold ride back, but he only lives oh, about a mile from the house. So we're gonna head over there. My wife's gonna drop me off and I'll drive the tractor over to the other neighbors and we'll go get the Boy, it's a cold morning for tractoring, but we're gonna road this over to my house. Yeah, it was about 30 degrees or so outside that morning and uh, yeah, it was cold, but uh, we did what we had to do. We went ahead and drove the tractor from my brother's and we just went right past my house and went straight to the neighbor. And looking at all this footage, you know, it makes me feel pretty lucky with what I've got. The surroundings that I have out where I live and being able to drive a tractor just right down the road and not have anybody say boo to me is nice. Here he is. This is the one we're butchering. So to dispatch a pig quickly, draw a line from ear to eye and ear to eye. And then in the center of that X, that's where you make your shot. Well, there he is. Got him home, safe and sound. Okay, here we are with the pig and we're getting her ready to truss it up, but I just wanted to show you something real quick. So, this is where you wanna put your gambrel is right through here. So, what you wanna do before that is you're gonna, you're gonna take your knife around this and then you're going to slit down this way and then skin this back both directions and then just poke your knife through here and then you can set your gambrel up to hang it So it should look like that. And then uh, you just hang it like that. You wanna get them, you wanna get them really good and rinsed off. We did, uh, we bled him out earlier uh, off camera. You want to make sure to get all that out of there as much as you can and uh, you want to make sure to cut deep enough you want your knife to really just touch the spine otherwise the blood will co coagulate and you don't want that and then if you're retaining the blood for other purposes um, we aren't but other people do uh, if you're retaining that blood just have a bowl and you would want to do your rinsing uh, beforehand because you don't want any of that fecal matter or any of the other junk getting in there if you're using it for food purposes. So we have just rinsed this off really well with cold water. Then we go back with a scrub brush and scrub it really good, get all the mud and the fecal matter out of it and make sure that the carcass is ready for the rest of the processing. We're actually going to skin this before we um, pull the guts out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line connecting this over here to this over here. Then we're going to come straight down until we get to here. And we're going to go around the leg, come up, connect with that, come over here. Do the other one and connect with that. Go 
You wanna make those cuts as shallow as you can make them. You want to go around the genitalia you can see that hole right there or that's where his penis would come out of you just want to make sure to go around that when you're skinning this don't don't touch it with your knife go around it and then uh, when you're gutting it pay special close attention to what you're doing there you don't want to rip that open Okay, now that we've made our outline, we can start skinning it. One thing I just really wanted to illustrate is you need to stay as close to that height as you can when you're skinning it. You don't want to be getting in to the paunch with it. It's hard to do because there's a lot of fat there. So you just have to be really aware of how deep your knife is going. Right here, there's gonna be a, there's a big uh, fat layer. So as I cut this back, I need, to, I need to try to keep more of this fat on here and um, try to get as close to that skin as I possibly can. So we're just skinning it here the rest of the way. I wasn't sure if we could actually show on YouTube uh, gutting an animal. Uh, there is a certain way you want to do it. You want to be really aware of what's going on. You don't want to poke any guts, but like I said, I didn't know for sure whether we could show that or not, so we didn't go ahead and show that. Well, we got it skinned, and then we didn't show the part where we gutted it and then we cut it in half right down the backbone and now it's hanging here and I'm just gonna let it hang here outside and cool out and we'll start butchering it tomorrow morning this is a three-part series day one is right here day two and day three are on their way we are done butchering the pig. We just got to edit the videos now. Thanks for watching.